hello and welcome to certainly one of my most anticipated days of the summer it's barbenheimer Hi friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back to a very special vlog that I am honestly unreasonably excited for. This is a day that I truly have been thinking about all month long. Not a July day has passed where I have not thought about how excited I am to see the Barbie movie. As soon as the Barbenheimer concept came out, obviously we gotta tack it all on. We are going for the bit. You have to see the experience. Although if you've been watching my vlogs, I did recently watch Inception which is another Christopher Nolan movie. It was great, so I I'm honestly excited for Oppenheimer now too. But Barbie is the event. Welcome to the vlog. I'm Cassie, I live in New York City, and tomorrow I'm going to see Oppenheimer and Barbie in the same day, and I'm gonna vlog it. I love to dress up. I love having themes, and tomorrow I'm going with a bunch of friends and my boyfriend, and we're just gonna make a day of it. I am opening at work tomorrow, and I work 6.30 to 12.15, and then Oppenheimer starts at 1.45, so I'm gonna have possibly the quickest outfit change ever. I'm gonna like run home and maybe take a fast shower to get all the sweat off. That all comes tomorrow. I'm definitely gonna vlog everything tomorrow. I'll show you all my friends, all our cute outfits, and the experience. But today is Saturday, and I have a lot of prepping to do. I want to paint my nails, I want to wash my hair, I want to shave my legs. I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear to Oppenheimer, like how the outfit transition's gonna happen for me. And I want everything like packed and prepared so that tomorrow, don't have to think about it, it's all ready to go. I want accessories picked out, I want outfits planned. But the first order of business is I need to wash my Barbie dress. I showed this in a vlog recently, but I thrifted this at the Salvation Army. It's just this hot pink satiny dress with rhinestone straps, literally perfect for Barbie. I did thrift it, so like that's one reason to wash it. And then it also does have, I don't know how it'll show up in the camera. You can kind of see it's got like a strange mark here. I'm hoping that will come out. I'm just gonna hand wash it because the rhinestones seem very delicately attached. Thanks for being here. Let me know in the comments down below if you've seen Barbie, if you've seen Oppenheimer, if you did Barbenheimer, what your thoughts are. I'm just so excited and it's so fun to like have a movie event like this. I feel like I haven't felt this way about a movie maybe ever and I really don't even know what either one's gonna be. Let's hop to it. This video will be timestamped too if you don't care about me getting ready for this. Skip right to the day, but first order of business. Let's wash the dress. Welcome to my bathroom. I don't hand wash clothes that often, but I think the best way to do this is I'm just gonna take some, this is literally Trader Joe's like scentless laundry detergent. I'm gonna put a little in the cap and that was probably way more than I need. <laughs> There's gonna be no way to tell if that mark came out until it's dried, so I'm just gonna hope for the best. And I don't know long, how long it's gonna take to dry, so it might be a mystery that isn't solved until pretty close to the moment of truth. But for now, I am going to hang her up. Hopefully in a way where she won't wrinkle. Let her dry. We are spending a lot of time in the shower together today, because now I'm gonna shave my legs. I don't know how long that took. It always feels like shaving my legs takes actually forever. Since I'm already here, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my hair. You won't be privy to that part. Dripping away over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bathe. Go on. that for my nails I'm gonna do this light pink shimmery color it has a similar sheen to my dress and it will be a little more muted so it won't look so crazy if I'm wearing something different for Oppenheimer I also just don't have a perfect hot pink match to my Barbie dress so 
I'd rather just go for the light pink. Hello, people. I, sorry. I am a mad woman right now, dashing around. Speed walked home from work. This is what I'm gonna wear to Oppenheimer. It's just a black maxi dress from H&M, I believe. I'm gonna put on a little makeup right now. I'm also gonna pack a sparkly eyeshadow. I'm gonna pack my dress and I'm going to pack earrings. I'm gonna pack this sparkly pink eyeshadow and probably a lip color. In the meantime, I'm just gonna put on a little more of my usual base makeup. That way I don't have to pack all my makeup. I am furiously going about this. I need to look at the mirror. It's gonna be great. Here's Melanie. <laughs> She's meeting us later for Barbie. And then my quick change, eyeshadow, earrings, dress. Right now I'm gonna curl my hair, so I'm gonna bid you adieu. Now we'll be on our way. Also my phone is charging because it has very little battery after playing music at work all day. Okay, bye. <laughs> As evidenced right by now. me Barbie. now being Barbie. I think the consensus was it, that, that that was the consensus. It was far too long. Is that the consensus? The yeah. consensus. Wait, I, I would say it was too say, long, but it dragged on a little physics bit. student, that movie slapped. Oh, yeah. Physics okay. approved. As an art student, it was too long. <laughs> oh, hi. I think that it dragged on a little bit at the end, and I also was kind of lost by the bureaucracy aspect all the names. I wished that I had done research beforehand. I wanted to go into it not knowing anything, but I didn't know all the historical details and it made it so that I was confused. I got a little bubble. Watch my little And we're waiting for two more friends. I got chips and queso. Now I'm Barbie. I can't wait to see Barbie. Now we're ready for Barbalicious. exhausted so we'll touch base again soon my bed is friends it's the following day and i had to be up at five this morning to go to work but it was all worth it for the experience of the day yesterday i had such a fun day with my friends and seeing two movies back to back is a crazy thing to do like out in a movie theater i feel like i maybe won't do that again anytime soon I'm glad I did it for the bit of the day. Starting with Oppenheimer, it wasn't really my kind of movie, I would say. It was well done, the cinematography was beautiful, and the acting was great. But I honestly didn't know a lot of the historical details about the creation of the atomic bomb and the events that unfolded afterwards that they depicted in the movie. And I do wish that I had gone into it with a little more historical context. Before the movie, I was excited to go into it knowing nothing. I did spend solid portions of the movie just trying to kind of figure out what was going on and having a lot of questions. And I think knowing more about the historical details would have helped me just enjoy the film more. I'm glad I saw it and I'm glad I saw it in the context of the day. Outside the context of the day, maybe wouldn't have been my kind of movie. It was also so long, three hours long. Also, I love Florence Pugh, so that part was great. <laughs> and then we walked around a little bit. Some people got food, I got some boba. We sat outside for a little bit. We went to Primark. 
those shoes that I was wearing, I don't know if I showed them. First of all, I never wear heels in general. Second of all, these specific shoes, I think I've only worn one or two other times. And when I tried them on the other day, I was telling my roommate Melanie, I feel like these shoes are uncomfortable, but I was walking around in our apartment and they were actually quite comfortable. So I was like, I don't really know why I thought that. By the end of the day, my toes hurt so bad. Let me just grab a shoe. Cute, right? Like great for Barbie. They've got this kind of straw-like, I don't know, material, light pink, suede kind of thing here. Adorable, perfect for Barbie. Yet, where there's a uh, maybe what, two, three inch heel? This part is just totally flat. Your heel is up and then your foot has nothing to cushion it. The balls of my feet were so sore. By the time we were walking up the stairs to our apartment, I was in so much pain. And when I woke up this morning, the balls of my feet were so swollen that I had to take ibuprofen before going to work. Probably won't be wearing these shoes again anytime soon, if at all. <laughs> Honestly, they're so cute, but I just cannot do uncomfortable footwear. It was the kind of thing where beforehand I was thinking, no, I'm gonna be in the movie theater all day, I'm not gonna be walking around that much. In New York City, you just have to walk anyways. You have to walk to the train, you have to walk from the train. We walked around the mall. Um, feet did hurt, but the Barbie movie was amazing. My friends, Destiny, Kai, and Melanie joined us for that. So we had a big group and all the girlies were sitting together, the boys were sitting together, and people got drinks, people got snacks. We went to the Alamo Draft House. I don't know if I said that, but we went to the downtown Brooklyn Alamo Draft House for both, which was honestly a great move because it's in sort of a huge mall and the bottom floor is a food hall so people could get whatever food they wanted, everyone could get different stuff. It was a really well executed day, but the bar Barbie movie was so much fun. It, I didn't know what to expect at all. I didn't know really anything going into it. I just had so much fun. I'm already excited to watch it again when it comes out on whatever streaming services will come out on. I laughed, I cried. It was just like such a lovely tribute to womanhood and friendship and finding yourself. It really reminded me of the journey of growing up. I talk about this all the time in my vlogs, mental health wise, these last two, three years of my life as I've exited the school system and become a real adult have been so hard and I've had to uh, release a lot of identities and like figure out who I am outside of the things I thought I was and I sobbed a lot and I also really wanted to hug my mom after watching it so oh, it was just such a fun day love my friends so much we took so many cute photos my dress was so much fun to wear i felt so like dressed up and girly and truly so happy so it was a great day it was a day i was looking forward to for so long when melanie and i were leaving the train i was like i can't believe it's over like i've been looking forward to this for so long yeah it was a really happy day and I can't wait to see Barbie again. I'm so glad that Barbie Joy has just been in the world. There were all these other girls that were dressed up while we were going to the bathroom before the movie and we were all like, you look so good. And everyone was complimenting each other. Girl power vibes. Also, I want to live in Barbie land. Who doesn't? Anyways, now it's the following day. I got up at five, worked a five hour shift already. And now I gotta go edit my August reset video. It'll already be up by the time you see this. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe for lots of other summer fun. I know Barbie we were looking forward to for a long time, but there's still stuff to look forward to, such as my 25th birthday coming August 17th. Go do something that makes you happy today. Let me know what you thought of Barbie or Oppenheimer or did you see both in one day? Have you seen both? Leave me your thoughts. Leave me your speculations. Leave me your feelings in the comments and I can't wait to see you again soon. Okay, bye.